Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Josh at EXE, Layers of Iron Entertainment. Uh, today, we're at, back with another episode of the Catalog Project, reviewing Braccia, I Need You slash Desire, the second, I think, um, release from Braccia, Business Casual release number 178. I literally bought this album because of Nightwalker. Uh, I love Nightwalker, I thought it was great when it came out, I still really enjoy it. Um, but I thought, oh, cool, another release from these guys. I'm going to pick it up. And I was less than impressed when I got it in. I listened to it. Like, I literally didn't listen to it because it was just like, oh, cool, another release from these guys. Awesome. I'll listen to it when the cassette comes in. And then I put the cassette in and I was like, oh, boy. Um, it's been about a year, though. So we're going to dive back in. Um, the last one I put up the review of Nightwalker said it was going to be a double feature. So here we are. Let's get into it. Packaging's fine. Crack on there. That's my fault. Uh, but yeah, time. Dig the lo-fi intro. Uh, the echoing vocals got really old really fast, though. It's just it's, it's just unrelenting for the whole song. It's like, here is the line, here is the same line for the entire thing. Uh, and the shame the gimmick got old so fast. The backing track is excellent. Uh, body song is much more fun than the previous track. It's a little repetitive, too, but I had fun with it. It's got some really fun riffs behind the vocals. Dug it. Uh, I need you... It's got a really dark, low synth intro, really hitting the song off, and it just builds, adding parts as it goes, getting more and more full. Can't say enough about how I enjoy the intro. Lyrics are super sappy, but the, it's pretty charming nonetheless. So it's a good track. Uh, Running Away. It's another really fun intro that builds and adds something new every couple of reps of the initial riff. And this is kind of the point where I'm like, maybe my initial assessment of the album was off. Maybe I was wrong. By the time the vocals hit, I just bob my head along on the way the vocals layer the chorus is pretty great. It's nice. Uh, then we get to Salvation. Not a huge fan of the intro or the vocals on this track. I like the main parts of the backing track, though. The lyrics themselves are fine. The delivery is just a little weird. Like, it just doesn't feel organic. And eh. uh, We get Sight to close out the A side. And I really like the piano along with the bass line. Really cool sound. No lyrics. Nice instrumental tracks. Really good. Solid A side. I was like, yeah, maybe I was wrong about this album. Maybe I was... this is the B-side. We got Fog. Not digging it, dude. Uh, he's going with like a really high register. Like, it's almost like a falsetto. It doesn't suit his voice at all. Um, and like the backing track seems really at odds with the vocals. They just seem out of sync. And like, this falsetto thing's reoccurring. Uh, then we get like Desire. Um, really digging it right, right off the bat. Fun synth riff. The, the vocal delivery kind of kills it. Super repetitive. It's not done super well. We go back to that falsetto in the high parts. It's just not good. Like, it, it, his voice isn't made for it, and it confuses me because on Nightwalker and here, he has a female accompaniment in some of his songs, and she can hit those high notes. I don't understand why we didn't just have her do it. Um, I don't know. It's really weird to me. Um, yeah, it's super repetitive. It's got the, the, you know, the, the, the high parts of his voice isn't good for it. And after the chorus, the next verse is pretty fun, but like on the whole, it's just, eh. um, okay. Girl, the intro sounds auto tunes, extra corny. I really like the delivery. I like the synth hits at the right time. I just wish we weren't repeating everything four plus times in a row by the time we get to the meat of the song. Like I was actually annoyed. It, it, it just repeated itself through the rest of the track. Like, I dug it at first, but, like, by the end, I, I just could not wait for it to be over. Um, the Hunger, we got an instrumental track. It's like, cool, this is fun. And, like, the production on this album is really slick, and I can't stress that enough. It's really slick. It's good. Um, but then we, you know, get to some other tracks. Well, I'll go over it later. Uh, we got Panic Attack. Uh, this song's actually pretty awesome. We got, like, cool arpeggios on the old guitar to kick us off. We get to a sick, definitely Arad synth riff super fun uh very full ambient feeling to the track with like muffled vocals coming through from the background till the vocals finally drop in at about 90 seconds into the track it's got a really epic feel to it it's awesome and then we uh and then we got wake like we've got a mellow intro and the vocals kick in and we get like wake your little eyes over eight times in a row with a little variation, but that's basically the rest of the song. We don't have to do something four rock and times and then do four more loops of the four rock and times you did it. Like we just we just don't need to do it. We we don't. 
uh, we, we get more of that falsetto, which doesn't work for his voice. And then we get like four more sets of some line, four more rockin' times. Like, this song made me want to go Kyle on the drywall. Like, I was actually upset by the end of it. Uh, and then we get like end. And like, did you know that you have to do everything for rockin' times and it actually makes your track better? Like, the backing track is awesome and like the vocals suck. They don't. Like, they're, they're whispered. They're fine. But like, we do it four times and then like, we do it four more times. It's just over and over, and then like it stops, and we get a great chunk of just groove into the backing track, and guess what? Let's do the same vocal whisper thing over and over and over to close us out, and that's the end of side B. And like overall, like I really hated this album when I bought it, and I thought I would give it the best shot I could on the review. And there are parts of the album I, I think are great, uh, just super cool, fun parts I was really digging. But like we've got to stop with the upper range stuff. It doesn't really work, especially when you have somebody who sings with you, and she can do that. She's good at it. Her voice can be kind of nasally to me, but, like, she's talented. She can sing. Your voice is lower, hit the lows, have her hit the highs. It's fine. It, 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 it worked really well on Nightwalker. I don't know why we mess with that formula. Um, yeah, and then the, the echo vocals running for a whole track, and somehow, like, the whole rock and Times cliche into 16-plus repetitions of the same line, like, over and over and over. Like, I was thinking, like, halfway through, like, man, this album been bad. I'm really, I'm really digging some things. And then the B-side just sucked the soul out of me, dude. Like, I don't know, man. It, it, like, if this album is your thing, like, power to you. But other than some, like, highlight tracks, which I would just go recommend, check out the tracks. I, I can't recommend buying this cassette. Uh, by the end, I was mad about it. I didn't want to listen to it anymore. It's like a two out of five. Um, we, we, we have some things that save it. But, but yeah, like, hearing the same thing. 16 plus times in a song with like no repetition or variation like it just comes off as like lazy and it sucks because the backing tracks are so good like the synth and the way everything's timed and the production is so nice but like just oh my god when i'm at like the 16th repetition of like open your little eyes or whatever i'm just like shut up just shut up I didn't, I didn't mean to get this emotional on this on this review. I usually try to be kind of chill about it. But, uh, but yeah, that's that's my review of, uh, of I Need You Desire. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please don't send this video to Bratya. I don't need him yelling at me. I, I don't. But, yeah, thank you. Thanks for checking it out. Catch you next time.